In the last video, we saw that the king of Bactrian Greeks, Demetrius, invaded India in around 180 BCE. In this video, we will look at the history of the region of Bactria to understand the relation between the Indians and Greeks of this region. In the northwest of Indian civilization, just across the Hindu Kush mountains, lay a region named Bactria. Today, it's the northernmost corner of Afghanistan. In 323 BCE, it was a part of Alexander's empire. This time onwards, many Greeks started to settle here. After Alexander's death, it was passed on to the Seleucid Empire. Seleucus and Chandragupta Maurya established a very strong alliance between the Greeks and Indians, which lasted for more than a century. Around the same time, the Silk Route developed, which linked the Greeks, Romans and Egyptians in the West, with India and China in the East. Being on the crossroads of this route, Bactria benefited immensely from it, Wealthy merchants travelling through this route must have paid tolls, paid for services, food, accommodation, etc. to the local businesses here. Naturally, Bactria became a very wealthy region. When Ashok became the emperor in India and began efforts to spread Buddhism, he sent missionaries to Bactria as well. Thus, Buddhism in this region started to grow. In one of his pillar edicts, Ashok claims that the Greeks had become followers of his instruction in Dhamma. In later periods, Bactria became one of the main centers of Buddhism and for centuries, it made great contributions to the faith. It played a crucial role in the spread of Buddhism from India to China, Japan and the rest of the far eastern world. And hence, when Shunga killed the Mauryan emperor and started persecuting Buddhists, the natural reaction of Bactrians was of rage. This prosperous and influential region of Bactria gave rise to an empire that would prove important in shaping the history of India. In the next video, we will see how this empire came to be.